Hi guys, and welcome to Finish It Friday, episode 105. So, don't mind my little sticky notes. I was trying to keep this in the order that I wanted it to go once we assembled the card. So here's my base card, 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a fourth. And then here's my nine pieces of 1 and 5 sixteenths by 1 and 3 fourths. Um, then I have my strip here for a sentiment. So I don't know what, how long I'm going to make that yet. All right, so the big thing with this is go ahead and get your ruler out. And you want to kind of find the center of your card base. So let me go ahead and move this one over for right now. So going from corner to corner, about halfway through, going right about there. And then if we go from corner to corner here, and right there. All right, so there's where our center is. You don't have to do this, you can eyeball it. I just like having knowing where my center is. And for this, I do suggest using your green glue, your multi-purpose glue. Um, I'm gonna start with my middle row first. And that's this right here. Ooh, too much glue. That might be a problem. Usually I start from the middle and go down, but uh, didn't, forgot to do that there. And then I want to kind of put this on my grid paper so it's kind of straight. So hopefully I put this kind of straight. All right, and then I like going, just to make sure before I start gluing it down, and I still have that little bit of time, I like making sure that these both fit too. So here's this one and this one. Oh, it's a little tight. So let's see if I still have time to remove that and go up just a little bit. go. That looks good. All right, now I'm going to put down my other two pieces here. Just leaving the slightest of borders. Oh, and now I'm thinking I'm a little too far over on that side, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out once we get there. Oops. It's the only thing I don't like about the multi-purpose glue is that it will move for a few seconds. It has its good and its bad. Let's just put it that way. All right. So now I'm going to put this one over here and this one to the side. Thin. I'm going to have more of a grout line, gutter line, whatever you want to call it on that side, but it's all right. Should have marked, should have kept this at the zero mark too. Because there's a lot of line left on that side. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and grab my fiber cloth because now I just got glue all over that finger. And I usually do try to use my uh, fine precision tip, but it's running a little low when I started the video, so I thought I will go with just the regular glue bottle. You can see that one is very close to that edge. My best placement but we're gonna deal with it I did much better on my example this is from this is a template for page 22 of the annual catalog Let's 
Let's go just a little bit there. All right, so there you have your pieces. I'm gonna lay my big block on top just to keep them down for a second. Now I'm gonna go ahead, this is my 3 fourths of an inch piece. I'm gonna decide what saying I wanna put on there. Let me come over here to I'm going to use the Sweetly Scripted. This is from the online exclusives. Whatever one I grab, I'm grabbing. So here's the happy birthday. Grab out my longer block. Make sure I pick it up straight. Grab out my memento. Go ahead and go down. All right. And then I'm going to decide how much I want that to go across. All right. I think I'm going to do the three and a half inch. So what I want to do is I want to put this. So here's where the three and a half is. So I kind of want to put this. So I have a little bit on each side. And then to three and a half. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop that up. Now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and do this like a banner and cut off those ends. I'm just gonna go, since we have so many straight lines on this, I'm just gonna go straight with straight cuts. I think I'm gonna do it just right in the middle. And there you are, guys. I'm going to put this back quietly because it's right by the microphone. Put my lid back on. Oh, this is from the Country Hive. Wonderful, wonderful place to get some 3D printed items to help you with your stamping and your storage. All right, so here we go. This comes off of the template from page 22 of the annual catalog. Let me go ahead. As much as I turn to it, I should have a little flag for it, but I don't. Remember, all images inside are copyright stamping up. Oops. So there you see, this is template number eight. All right. Let me put my catalog back under. I want to make sure I have my little protective things. So there, that's the template, example number eight. So here we have that from today. Now with this, you don't have a lot of room for a variety. So the first thing I did was I went ahead and I took, I have the five here that are lined up and overlapped. Oops, sorry. I put them on the bottom. Then I put three here centered, cut the ninth one in half and put it on each end. So there's how that one works. This one, I was cutting them all in half and I was going to like mix and match, but I didn't like the way it looked. So then I ended up where I cut them in half. You can see where I cut them in half originally. I ended up ripping the ends, placing them down and running them through that eyelet embossing folder. So similar to this, but comes up with a completely different look because of that ripped edge. And I ripped, of course, the greetings edge and highlighted it a little bit with a light. I think that's fresh for each All right, guys, there you are. If you're so inclined, go ahead and upload your example on our Facebook group. 
If you want to choose one of these for your card choice, put them in order and email me at mycomcast.net. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye for now.